episode, new season of the Deep Impact podcast. Uh, a lot of things have changed, but one thing that hasn't is I'm still your host, Bo Walker. I literally think you've used that like seven. I know times. I have. I think I probably have. You're also <laughs> not like on paper as the host. You just do it every time. I am. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, joined by Mark Carson, Jason Cephas, and Mr. James Piazza. Ah. Uh, it's been a while, guys. How are you guys doing? Doing good. It's actually only it's actually it's only been like two weeks since since we last recorded an episode. Yeah. Yeah. That wink, wink. Nudge. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Uh, yeah. No, it's been it's been about a month. In all yeah. honesty. Uh, but yeah, actually, it's been over a month because I think we did December eighth was the last time we recorded. We did online. Yeah. Day. Yeah. We did yeah, three we, episodes. Yeah. We did that marathon. Yeah, that was that was, a fun like, one. that was exhausting. Yeah, it was fun though. It was fun. It was, it a was good time. fun. Let's, hey, let's fun. let's bang out fifty-two weeks of podcast in a night, guys. No, <laughs> okay. no. <laughs> Jason objects because uh, my computer almost blew up with that last one, and it yeah. was only like an hour and a half recording. But uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, so it was the first episode back, and some some stuff has happened in the wide world of sports. Uh, we're gonna cover the absolute beatdown that was the uh, college football national championship game, uh, and then uh, we got NFL. Was a pretty great face right there. Did it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got we got some NFL playoffs. So uh, college football playoffs. Uh, Ohio State broke all of our hearts at the stroke of midnight. Wide I didn't left. I did I didn't get to watch the ball drop, but I did watch the ball drop wide left. Wide okay. left. As Damn. wide as you can go. Wide left. Yeah. Uh now listen, I will say I was at a wedding on New Year's Eve. Okay. You're a trooper for actually watching as much game of that game as you did. I always, I didn't dance at all at this I wedding. Say, I, I always get on you for never watching sporting events that you say you're a, like a huge <laughs> fandom of, but you went out of your way to watch this game. Listen, I'm proud of you at a wedding. Listen, there were more people sitting at their tables watching football than there were dancing at, on the dance floor. Okay. At one point, it got to the point where they brought a TV out, put it on a table, and there were there was a crowd of probably 50 people standing around the TV watching the game. They did a balloon drop, and Maddie came over. She goes, hey, the ball's dropping. Come over here. Balloons dropped. We kissed. I went back over, missed the field goal. <laughs> Way to go. I started the new year with a kiss, and I missed field goal. It was great. <laughs> You know, that's that any night, indication of how the year is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss a couple more field goals along the way. But, uh, <laughs> but no, uh, Ohio State absolutely should have won that game against Georgia. They let them come back in the second half. Uh, or actually, in the last, what, five, six minutes of the game, they let them come back. I think they scored, what, 18 points in the third so, or in the fourth? The fourth, like yeah. That. Yeah. Yes, and because that is that was historically Georgia's best quarter was what throughout the whole season. The fourth quarter was their best quarter. Mm -hmm. um, they came back. They were up by one. Missed field goal. Game over. Uh, I was. I'm pretty sure we were all pulling for TCU. Is that a fair statement? Honestly, that Ohio State Georgia game was so good. I really didn't care as much. But yeah, I was. I wanted to see TCU. TCU went over Georgia again. Well, guess what? They didn't. That didn't happen. They got their shit kicked in to the they score. Show up. They showed up for about the first, like, 12 minutes of the game. Maybe not even that. Maybe, like, eight minutes. I was going to say, that's being pretty generous. They yeah, played, was, they, they played football. They played football for eight minutes, scored a touchdown against one of the best defenses in college, and then proceeded to get wrecked 65 to 7 the largest is that the largest uh spread in college football i know it's in the playoffs absolutely in a championship game yeah not not in all of college football but do we have any takeaways from this game other than tcu 
just looked atrocious. Nah, I didn't even watch it. Um. Yeah, it was just it was just bad. My so my one takeaway is Georgia was clearly as advertised. Like yes, they were clearly Absolutely. the best. As if there was any doubt that they weren't, they proved it. Yes. The, now, here's my question. Going off of that, if Ohio State won, would they be national champions right now? No. See, oh, that I don't know. I Mark think said no. Would. I, no, I, Georgia, I would have to. Georgia was just unstoppable. I'm not asking about Georgia. I'm saying if Ohio State had made that field goal and beat Georgia, would Ohio State have beaten TCU? Oh, you say yes. I say yes. You could not convince me. They put up such great numbers and had such a great game against Georgia. You can't tell me that it, they wouldn't have played like that against TCU. Yeah, Ohio State would have won. They will, absolutely would have. Amanda, thank you so much. You can made I, my point hot, exactly. Can I do uh, a hot take? Can I do a hot, hot take? Jason, if your hot take is saying Ohio State wouldn't have won, no. I don't think they do. What? Here's my Here's my reasoning. Here's my reasoning. Who's the one team that Ohio State lost to in the regular season? Michigan. Michigan. Who's the team that TCU beat to get into the national championship? Michigan. Michigan. Yes, but TCU beat You're Michigan. You're making that same logic for Georgia and Ohio State. Yeah. Michigan Michigan lost to TCU by what? Uh, was it 10 points? Two, two touchdowns? I don't know what it was. Ohio State lost to the best team in college football by one point. And they were leading that game. And they were they winning were the team. entire game. Georgia had an amazing game, too. Both they did. teams. That game was just a flat-out awesome game. Yes. Because neither, neither of the two sides did anything totally stupid and reprehensible. No. They just played great college-level football the entire time. My you thing also got to think. I, mm-hmm. Go ahead. I was just going to say. I was, I was just going to my take. I think their wide receivers, and one of their running backs. Yeah, but I think Ohio State would have won, but for a little bit different a reason. When you're leading into the semifinal game, you have so much time to prepare, so it gives the underdogs a chance to exploit matchups. Um, if you're a hev- like a heavy, heavy underdog going into the, the game like a week later, the national championship, I think that puts you at a disadvantage. Whereas it's like, I think Ohio State benefited by having another, by having several weeks to prepare against Georgia. I still think they would have won because I think TCU kind of exploited that against Michigan. And I think Ohio State's a little bit better of a team. And we've seen TCU lose. Um, We've seen them lose twice throughout the entire season, but we almost saw them lose again in the regular season to K-State twice, whereas Ohio State is good enough of a program and good enough of a team and has good enough defense where I think they would have like copied that to a degree if they just had to shuffle in that last week in order to prepare for the uh, TCU matchup. Yes. Now, looking forward to next season, do you think there's a chance Ohio State makes it back? I mean, they're going to be losing the, I mean, they're losing some of their key players, but they're also getting some back. I mean, CJ Stroud hasn't came out and said he's leaving, but for all intents and purposes, he's leaving. Yeah, but when when was the last time Ohio State was not in the picture? That that's they a good point. Eligible? That's a very I good mean, point. The Luke Fickle year? Yeah, that's yeah. a very good point. Oh, so they're going to make State... a push for it. Ohio State's always going to be in the conversation, just the, yeah. the same way that Bama's always going to be in the conversation, you know. Until Nick Saban leaves, yes. Yeah, like, my thing is, are they going to be there? Yes. My thing is, if, let so let's say next year they make the playoffs and they lose again. At what point do we start looking at making some serious changes? Well, I think that there will be some serious changes coming with the the twelve team playoffs. You got to think if a high state, God forbid, loses again to the team up north, if uh, Jim Harbaugh is even still the head coach there, because there's a potential that he's leaving and going back to the NFL. He's going. Um, Brian Day loses to Michigan for a third time. He's done. He's probably going to lose his job. Yep. Definitely a fourth, just because this year it's back in the big house. 
Mm -hmm. Like, again, that place is so hard to play that I think they would give him the benefit of the doubt if he has another great season but loses to Michigan. But if it ends up being four times, I think I think if he loses in Columbus within the next probably five to six years, if he loses at home again, unless yeah. they've won titles, I think he's I think he's done because I mean, look at how Ohio State was in the 90s with Eddie George. Um, I forget who their uh, coach was right before Trestle, but like he was he had them undefeated two or three years going into the Michigan game and they lost and they were out of it and he just could not beat Michigan and yeah. he got fired. Like, and then Jim Trestle beat Michigan. He might not have won all the way, but he always beat Michigan and he stayed until he had the scandal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to make a prediction for next season. George is winning it again. No, I think they're going to lose too much. They're going to lose too much this year. Um, they they are making it to the playoffs, though. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not going to argue with you there. George they, they, is not going to win it again. They're going to lose too much. Um, the, but they're, you know, just like, like – What are they losing? You know, they're, 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 they're losing a quarterback who's uh, two years younger than me, who's actually younger than the youngest starting quarterback in the NFL playoffs. Or he's, this, he's older than the youngest starting quarterback in the NFL playoffs. That is true. What year? What year is that? The tight end they have, Bowers. He's a freshman. He's a freshman. He's a freshman. Brock, Brock Bowers is a freshman. Yeah, they might. As long as they have, as long as they have him, best, he is the best freshman. He is the best tight end already in college football as a freshman. Wow. He yeah, is ridiculous. I, yeah. They they very well could. As long as they have him, they they they're going to have a legit shot every year. Like he is that good. Just looking at their schedule, the Brock they're, Bowers, they're going undefeated. Uh, Brock Bowers is going to be a junior next year. Uh, see, I thought he was a freshman. Someone said he was a freshman. No. He was a freshman in 21. He, he's going to be a junior next year. So he'll leave at the end of next year. Okay. Regardless, no. they still have I mean, another he's got, year. He's got at least two years. Would he not declare for the NFL this year? No, probably, I th- you have to play probably your junior not year. tight end, but he's el- eligible for putting two years in. I thought you had to play your junior year. You can leave yeah, after no, sophomore. No, you can uh, leave well, after sophomore. If, I th- if you play, you have to have two years of I don't know if it's starting or what, but you have yeah. to you can't have a red shirt year and then go your sophomore. You have to have two yes. years on the team. But yeah, Georgia's Georgia's winning out the the. the the regular season there there's no team on their schedule that is beating them college football is so hard to predict though yeah like going undefeated like i mean i would have i would have trouble making any like even having hot takes right now that's that's a lukewarm take <laughs> george is going undefeated no next consequences season. <laughs> so, that, like i'll put money on it sports huh? betting's sports betting's legal in the state of ohio now i'll put money on it is it really yeah dude yeah. i didn't tell you about this oh uh, okay, well, we we now have a new segment on this podcast, <laughs> sports betting. No, 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 we <laughs> no. I'm just gonna tell you real quick. Uh, so Maddie signed up with a, a free FanDuel account, or she signed up. I sent her a link. She signed up. Uh, she got two hundred dollars for free play, being a new member in the state of Ohio, and using my link, she also got another hundred, and I got a hundred. So she put seventy dollars on the uh, Lions-Packers game that the Packers would be winning at halftime, but the Lions would win the whole game, she cashed out $670. Free money. Nice. Yeah. So she's actually hit more in bets than I have ever in one bet. Yeah, just in one. She's like, what money did you put down on? Uh, like, did she actually put down on? Oh no, you said she got that. Or, it, so she had three. she had to put ten dollars in and bet ten dollars, and those bets had to be settled before we would each get the hundred and the two hundred. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But yeah, she she was so excited. I was laying in bed. I was like, all right, I'm going to bed. I'm going to go to sleep. Don't wake me up. She came in. Hey, hey, hey! The Lions won. They beat the Packers. My bet hit. Uh, okay. Yeah. Great. Betting's fun. It's a it's a nice it little snow brush. It is. It really is. I just want to point something out. If we do want to make that a segment, I already have the perfect name for it. What is it? You can fact. Bo's betting corner. 
<laughs> I will give you all of the worst bets that you could place. <laughs> Here's one right now. $100 Packers to win the Super Bowl next year. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm kidding. Uh, speaking of the Packers, uh, them and the Steelers both didn't make it into the playoffs. It was nope. a uh, – Packers had to win and get in. They did not. Steelers had to win and get help. They won, and they got half the help, help they needed. For a long time. We had to get help back when we – Ever since we lost to Baltimore the first time, we've had to have help. Uh huh. But you said, but we did get help. I mean, the the Bills pulled off their I'm their well end of the bargain, and I mean, there was needed, like a there was like a three in a thousand chance going into yeah. the Raiders game that uh, we would that we would make playoffs, and it came down to one stupid field goal by the dumbass Dolphins. There wasn't a touchdown scored in that game. No. All we needed was Joe Flacco to not be a douche nozzle for once in his life. And one, what did what did he do? He screwed the Steelers once one, again. One touchdown. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Come on. Like, I know you're old. I know you're not the best quarterback in the league anymore. You never were. But come on. You can't throw a touchdown? Like, come on. Anyhow. All right. I'm pissed about it. Actually, I'm I'm actually not. All I wanted to do was beat the Browns, have a winning season. I'm mad that we didn't make it into the playoffs, obviously, but I saw a lot of growth in that team coming down the stretch. We also had one of the hardest schedules of the first half, and then or the hardest schedule in the first half. And then yes, one of the top three easiest schedules in the second half. I, I understand that, but you got to think: rookie quarterback, quarterback, uh, rookie wide receiver. Wide receiver that can't catch anything and gets paid over a million bucks a game. Like set an NFL record, Deontay Johnson, eighty six catches, zero touchdowns. When he didn't catch that ball, I laughed. How did he how he caught it? But when he didn't score that, touchdown, <laughs> when he got tackled at the one yard line. Yeah. Um. I actually I I I was listening to Big Ben Roethlisberger's podcast that he has footballing, and he actually had some really good takes on the Steelers. Coming down the stretch, the end of the season, uh, it looks like he he gave Matt Canada a, a compliment. Did not really enjoy that. Uh, sell the team, Bob. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Matt Canada sucks. He's the worst offensive coordinator in the league, in my opinion. Ready for my hot takes? Steelers making the playoffs next year, coming in second in the AFC North. No, that's not my hot take. Okay, that's mine. Aaron Rodgers retires. The Packers trade the 15th overall pick. And somebody, probably Jordan Love, to the Raiders for Derek Carr and Devontae Adams back. Derek Carr also just said that he's leaving the Raiders. Well, they still have his rights, though. No, he said he's not playing for the Raiders anymore. Well, Aaron I understand Rogers that, but going he's going to still... for another year. Aaron Rodgers has two more years on his contract. He signed a three-year deal, but um, it's only guaranteed money if he plays. If he retires. He only, I think he only gets, I say only, like it's not a shit ton of money. He gets like 50 million instead of like 107. That's a lot of money. Both of them are but I think, money. I think Derek Carr might be a Packer next year. If Aaron Rodgers retires, they'll get, they'll trade Jordan Love. I would be surprised if Derek Carr Derek became Gardner. your quarterback. I like, I actually really like Derek Carr. He's one of those mediocre pedestrian white guys that I'm just like, you know, you're actually a lot better than people give you credit for. Um, yeah. But, uh, but Devontae Adams, uh, I, you're going to have to give up so much more for Devontae Adams back, I uh -huh. think. I mean, just the fact that they still have him under I don't know if he wants out, though. I don't know. Even if he does want out, I mean, what's he going to do? Just not play? Even if he does, like, they're going to get a first-round pick. So what? I think yeah. Devontae Adams is worth more than just a first-round pick. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Really we'll see. Hard to get him back. I don't know, but the Steelers got two first round picks essentially since the Miami oh, Dolphins. Literally. Well, there are only thirty one picks in the first round this year because Miami yeah, forfeited theirs. Uh, that listen, we got the better end of that trade with Chicago. I am so happy. That is the best. <clears throat> that's the best thing that's happened all season. I <laughs> was not. Is that I, Case Claypool trade? Yes. We got rid of a problem wide receiver. 
and we got <laughs> uh, as a first round pick. Yes, I mean it, it worked out very good for us. Uh, thank you for Hughes. Thank you to Houston for uh, winning a game. <laughs> um, but speaking of Houston, the before we move into the playoffs, uh, the NFL has lost one of the best uh, players of all time. He didn't die. He just retired. Sorry about that. JJ Watt. Uh, <laughs> Mark has a Mark has a theory about him retiring. You want to you want to share your theory with all of us? You're just a fucking oh, megawatt yeah. or megawatt yeah. or whatever you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. Spoil, then that's going to spoil the fake. Thing. I was making a joke. The fake Mike, I, I know. The, the fake Mike Tomlin quote, but no, uh, part of me strongly believes J.J. Watt wants to uh, have the fate of his future in his own hands, and he's pulling a Rob Gronkowski, and he's going to retire and then not retire, and he's going to play one season with his brothers, and then he's actually going to retire. I Man, I hate that because I think it's so stupid. But, but I, you also I, love it. <laughs> well, no, I don't love it because it's like, I don't think J.J. Watt's going to be like that productive. But J.J. Watt is also that person to where it's like, again, he's so injury prone. He's always tearing his body up. And he's definitely old at this point for an NFL player, especially with his body. But like taking a year off to retire is not going to help anybody in the NFL except a handful of people. It might actually help him to have a year of health back. Yeah. I mean, I he's the, like he's the same age as Cam Hayward. He plays like he's 40. <laughs> Who, Cam or JJ? No, JJ. Yeah. Cam Hayward, in my opinion, was a, the uh, backup, uh, backup MVP of the team this year. I think yeah. Minka rightly deserved it because Minka was playing two positions at uh, mm-hmm. free safety and inside linebacker. And uh, I think Cam – probably got runner up man honestly t tj though impressed me this year more than impressed me last year yeah he especially being injured for so long coming back well, and well that's the thing is it's like he to me was more valuable because value does not matter it doesn't matter what your stats are if your value like if your value is high because it's your impact on the game and he was literally like while he was in there, whether he was doing well or not, he was attracting enough attention from everybody else that the entire that the offense from any other team was just focusing on him to allow other players to make plays. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, for me, that's value. I'd rather yeah, have absolutely. that. Absolutely, I don't care about twenty-two sacks. I don't care if you have a yeah. single sack. If you do what he did this year, just by being on the field, you're more valuable than you would be with the sacks because those sacks yeah. could come on first down and they could score the next time. Yeah. I mean, I think what, like what you said about him drawing all the attention, it, it allowed um, Highsmith to have a standout season compared, yeah, to, yeah, compared to last paper. year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of uh, Hayward, how are you feeling about Connor Hayward? Mm. I think he's a good second wide or second tight end. Behind, yeah, I don't know how Fryer much blocking is. is. Uh, the thing is, is Pat Fryermuth doesn't block. Je- no. Zach Gentry blocks. He catch a little bit, and he blocks like a beast. <laughs> yes, um, he's not, but he, Fryermuth yeah. did not. Uh, his inj- his knee injury was not as significant as they thought it was. Well, that's good. I mean, that's good for that's good. Yeah, for he um, yeah he he missed he missed a sig- significant um, knee injury, mm-hmm. but well, that's good. That's good. I mean, I do think that I mean Hayward. I think Connor Hayward that, uh, to, to answer your previous question, though, I think Connor Hayward's great where we picked him. We picked him sixth round, right? Yeah. So I think he's good to have as a backup, kind of a special teams player to where he can grow because I don't know what his potential is. Um, I'd like to see what he can do yeah. in the long run. I mean, it's it's going to be. I I feel good about this team for next season. I really do. I've got a good feeling about them. I I um, I'm 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 going to say second. In the conference, or not second in the conference, Jesus, second in the division behind the, behind the Bengals with one win over the Bengals. Uh, Bengals won, Steelers two, getting the wild card. Um, Ravens three, if they do not trade Lamar or re sign Lamar. If they don't, they've won no. games with Tyler Huntley. No, sorry. 
if they I don't think Browns will finish in last in your conference. That, that's year. that's what I was saying. If but, they re-sign Lamar, he's they're going to be third. If they don't sign Lamar, Browns are going to be third. Uh, you Ravens want me to give a hot take? Um, as long as John Harbaugh is there, uh, the Ravens will never finish last in the division. Okay. That's they're fair. they're always no matter how bad of a team they do, they they're have very competitive. Help. Yeah, they're yeah. always competitive, and they always have a tough team that always goes somewhere. I Absolutely. Mean, when was the last time they even missed the playoffs? This year? I mean, I don't know because I don't have it in front of me, but, like, just think about that. Like, they, like they always compete every year in some sort of wild card or well, some Well, they sort made of playoffs this year, didn't they? Yeah, they're playing Cincinnati. Oh, that's year. right. Damn. Ignore me saying that they didn't make playoffs this year. Ignore me probably saying they're playing Cincinnati because it's come out after the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they do play Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. Do. Well, I know. Um, I know. I'm just saying this episode comes out after. Oh, that. yeah. But, uh, all right, let's 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 move into into the playoffs here. Let's, uh, let me get some the scores up here for the, for the, the, the matchups. All right. Saturday night, 4.30, Seahawks 49ers. 49ers. Yeah, it's gonna. It's it's hard. Yes, it's hard to it's it's hard to go against the 49ers. Um, I would I'm love picking... to see effing Geno Smith win a playoff game. That would to me, be I funniest fucking thing in the world. Listen, the I don't know if he listens to this podcast, but <laughs> if the Seattle Seahawks somehow to pull out uh, a win against the 49ers, fuck you, Carlos. <laughs> I just I, I hope it happens just so I can watch that. But I, I hope it happens just because Geno Smith, dude, he's been in the league forever. He's been terrible for. He really ever. has. He I mean he's had a he's had a standout year this season. He's had a pretty good season. I don't know if that's because he's playing well or because the team around him's doing like making up for it. But man, I just yeah. to see that guy have a playoff win. Oh, I would love it. That'd be awesome. Uh. Chargers Jags. I'm going Jacksonville. Oh, uh, Hot take. Uh, I am ja- yeah. I'm I'm picking Jacksonville too. As much as I don't like that horse face of a quarterback they have, they're probably gonna win this game. He's pretty. Yeah, she's she's got a nice head of hair. <laughs> uh <laughs> he got you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> got some pretty horse teeth in there. All right. Uh Sunday. Uh Dolphins at the Bills. Speaking of the Bills, uh, DeMar Hamlin has made a recovery. He is home in Buffalo. He's been discharged from the hospital. Uh, anybody that doesn't know, he took a scary hit, um, went into cardiac no, arrest. No, the hit wasn't scary. The hit, the, the hit, the hit was, was not scary at all. It was the aftermath of the he hit. The hit. He was on defense. He kind of, like, absorbed the hit. T. Higgins kind of went into him. He kind of, like, went back and then went down, came up. He didn't tackle. It's a foot. I mean, he yeah. throw him on himself. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, he's he's made a recovery. He's home in Buffalo. He's been discharged from the hospital. Uh, actually, there was, a, there was a report coming out of Buffalo that when uh, the Bills ran the opening kickoff back against the Patriots, he set off every alarm in the hospital uh, <laughs> because he was hooked up to the monitors and he was going absolutely nuts watching the game. Um, but yeah, good. It's a it's a feel good talking by that point. <clears throat> oh yeah, but I mean it's it's a it's a feel good story uh, from a sc- very scary situation. Um, oh, and it, it was his uh, his charity that he has. He's he's a Pittsburgh guy. I mean he's he was born and raised in McKees Rocks. He went to Pitt University. Um, he has a yeah. He went to uh, what Central Catholic High School. Central Catholic High School. Yep. He has a uh, he had a fundraiser. To, for toys for the kids in McKee's Rocks to raise money for them. The goal on GoFundMe was $2,500. Um, I believe the last count was over $10 million. Yeah, he raised over a million in the first night. In the first couple hours, I believe. Like, it was, it was ridiculous, the amount of outpouring and uh, support that everyone uh, showed for that man. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dolphins Bills. Oh, uh, does anyone have a hot tag? No, move on. Bills. All right, uh, Giants Vikings. It is not a one o'clock hot game. take. Giants it's, are winning. It is not a one o'clock game, so Kirk Cousins might play good. 
I was going to say, is no, that really take pick, though? Giants are winning. In the pool that I have, everybody picked the Giants except me. I picked the Vikings. <laughs> I'm picking the Vikings, too. Honestly, and I, I, I explained this to Mark. Uh, I actually I don't root for the Vikings, but I like the Vikings. They've always been one of, like, one of my teams. I don't know why. I, I've kind of felt I, that way about the Lions. Like I, don't, yeah. like, I don't root against them, but at the same time, like, I don't. Exactly, yeah. Them. I do root against them when they're playing the Packers. Packers. <laughs> um, Ravens, Bengals. Bengals. Joey B. The Bengals. This is tough, but Cincinnati played them so tough last week. I was like, man, the Ravens got handled, and they don't usually do that. That also could mean that they're due for a comeback. But yep. I still had to stick with stick with Joe. All right, and last game, Monday night, the Cowboys and the Buccaneers. As a Steelers Papa fan. Bay, yep. Papa Bay winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> not winning the Super Bowl. Oh. Not oh, winning really? the Super Bowl. Really? Uh, winning this game, about to ha- beating the Cowboys. Take- Cowboys are winning the Super Bowl. No, dude. No. No. Yep. Cowboys Cowboys suck. suck. Cowboys suck. Hey, y'all said the Bengals sucked last year and weren't making it to the Super Bowl. Cowboys are worse. That was my hot take. Cowboys are worse. Like what James said. Cowboys suck. My arm said that last year, but this year I mean it more. They have a quarterback who's got glass ankles. He takes one. it's It's the Cowboys. He's he's not an he's not an elite quarterback Super Bowl since ninety since ninety five ninety six. Yeah. No. Cowboys are not winning the Super Bowl. Cowboys are not winning this game. They're going to lose to Tom Brady, and I hate that I have to root for Tom Brady. Hey, embrace you have it. To root for Tom Brady. I I am not rooting for the Cowboys. Embrace it. Why? Because as a Steelers fan, you hate the Cowboys. You hate every other team in your division. Yeah. yeah. And my brother-in-law is a Cowboys fan, a Lakers the Cowboys fan, a Dodgers fan. Division. I understand that, but it's just one of those things that's ingrained in you as a Steelers fan. You hate the Cowboys. Yep. You There's don't get it. Cowboys you don't Cowboys. get it. Is there is there another team outside of your comp or outside of your division that you hate? He's gonna say Pittsburgh. He's gonna yeah. He's no. Going to. <laughs> no, I'm not. Why the fuck? I, I he's always. Did. Well, he's you like, also don't. don't you also don't have your camera on, so we can't see your face and see if you're smirking before you say something. Oh, and you all you all know who I fucking hate in the NFL. It's the goddamn sea chickens. Okay. Yes. So us hating the Cowboys is like you hating the Seahawks. No, you hate you the have Seahawks? an un, unjustified reason why you hate the Cowboys just because you're a Steelers fan. I hate the Seahawks because they always fucking beat the Packers in the playoffs, just like the, the goddamn 49ers. We Except hate, for this year because the Packers aren't in the playoffs. We hate the Cowboys because we played the Cowboys in three Super Bowls. And one of them we lost when Neil O'Donnell threw his second interception to no offensive player. That's why we hate the Cowboys. Deion Sanders was crying on the sidelines before Neil O'Donnell threw that second interception. That's why we hate the Cowboys. And because also because Pittsburgh was offered America's team first, Dan Rooney said, no, we're Pittsburgh's team. And then the Cowboys took it. That's why we hate the fucking Cowboys. <laughs> they suck. They're terrible. They do. Fuck them. Yes. Uh, my crack All right. Uh, I don't think I have anything else other than that. Who's winning the Super Bowl? Give me, give me a Super Bowl pick real quick. And then Off we'll, of bed, we'll, we'll, then we'll what James is saying, I, I think he's retiring anyway, but I think he's really going to go out of his way to do whatever the hell he can and has left in his tank to make this it. And who, that's who, who are they playing in the, in the Super Bowl? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. Really, you're going to make me get my list out. Somebody else go. I'm just make, pick, pick a team that's in the playoffs. I have it written. I thought about this earlier. All right. I'm going uh, Buffalo Bills. I'm I'm picking the easy ones here. It's the, the number two seed Buffalo Bills over the Philadelphia Eagles and Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I picked Buffalo as my AFC team. I, I think Buffalo's got it. I I really do. I had Buffalo, Buffalo pick from the very beginning. Team. So yeah, if I Buffalo think, makes yeah. it to the AFC Championship game at Arrowhead. No, if they make it that far and they didn't get eliminated before then, then Buffalo's won it because they'll make it for Demar Hamlin. Exactly. 
Hold on, James, because I believe AFC Championship game. I saw that uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta will host a potential AFC Championship game between the Bills and the Chiefs. It won't be an Arrowhead. Oh, yeah, if no it's according, the Bills to, according the, to ESPN, yep. If it's the Bills and the Chiefs, it's played at a neutral site. Yep. Because, because the, the Bills game, game was canceled, canceled that night. Yeah, when that game was for first place, that game was for home field advantage. Yeah, so well, in the fairness Bills, of the canceling the, Beng- the, game, the Bengals were too far back to have made it over the leapfrog over the Chiefs. It was Chiefs, Bills, Bengals. Yes, but, but if the the Bills had won it, they would have they would have had home field. Yes, because they had the tiebreaker. <clears throat> yes. They would have the same record as the Chiefs, but the Bills beat the Chiefs in Arrowhead. Yep. Yeah. Um. But yet, man, that sucks for Kansas City, though, because it's like, how do you – you're the number one seed and you only host one playoff game. Like, because you get the bye week. So it's like that sucks for the stadium because – It mean, does. Fans make their money. Oh, yeah. Or not I mean, fans, but that's a, that's a big it, buy-in for teams to make their money during the postseason. So you can get a little bit of a postseason bonus is because you host playoff games. I mean, they did – yes – the the Chiefs did get the the number one seed, but they got it on a technicality because the game was canceled. If if they would have kept playing the game and the Bengals would have won, then yeah, I I do understand why they're doing it at yeah. a neutral site. But um, again, yeah, I do too. Again, the NFL doesn't cancel games. That's no, that's but they. Tough. I also did see that there was a potential for Heinz Field to be a. Uh, a neutral site game for very early, it? which would have been it, cool, but yeah, yeah, it was ruled out pretty quick. But Mark, who'd you say was winning the Super Bowl? Cowboys. Who they beaten? Bengals. Okay, Jason. You said Bills. The right? Bengals lose two Super Bowls in a row, and that who they beat really sucks. The Bills lost four in a row. Yeah, but the Bills aren't as bad as Cincinnati. Buffalo's not as bad as Cincinnati. Anyway, sorry, Jason, repeat what you said because I was talking over you the whole time. I'm just I, – I just say – I don't give a matchup. I just say who's winning it and who's – like – so my pick is the Bills. I said it when we did the did. the live episode way back, and I said it was going to be the Bills before the season started. I still think it's going to be the Bills. Now, with everything that has gone on with with that team, you know, I mean, it would be it, it would be a great story. And like I said, now, you know, because my my reasoning prior to the season was they've come so close for the past couple years. And I feel like they're going to break through eventually. and. I mean, we, we, you know, we see it in all the different sports, you know, teams come close for a number of years, they finally get over the hump and they go on to win it all. So I think this is Buffalo's year. Yeah. I think it's, it's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, it sucks that the Packers and the Steelers aren't in the playoffs, but, yeah. um, but Chiefs it are, and it wouldn't honestly wouldn't shock me if they won it all again. Yeah, exactly. But there's, uh, there's so many teams that are so head and shoulders above the rest that it just yeah. But yeah, with that, do we got anything else we want to cover before we wrap it up? I'm good. All right, Jason, where can they find us? You can find us on our social medias. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and also TikTok, which we will start posting on that eventually. You can mm-hmm. listen to us on you can listen to us on spotify anchor and apple Podcasts, and you can watch this video and others like it on our youtube channel just follow our link tree and it takes you to where you need to go uh but yeah so with that we're gonna we're gonna sign off for this week and next week i believe is an ov unknown episode ov unknown that is correct can can someone remind me what city we're doing? We are doing Glendale. More of a town than a city, but okay, we're doing Glendale. Well, I was going to say, what a choice there. I know <laughs> yeah. one thing about the city of Glendale, and, you know, he's he's not that cool anymore or relevant. No, 
No. <laughs> I hear he's got a little bit of the mud on the tires, but with that, we're going to end the oh, episode. Oh, shut the hell up. And <laughs> You got to make it a little bit more cryptic than that. I don't know any other songs by him. I'm kidding. I do, but you I couldn't think of any. Alibi? I do, but I couldn't think of alcohol off the top of my head. Oh yeah, I'm not partaking in any of that tonight. Since the day I left, old Smokey. All right, Jason, end the podcast. Uh-huh.